My name is Christina Sorderska. I work at IIED and I chaired the session on Indigenous Knowledge, Culture and Adaptation. The key uh, lessons emerging from our uh, session are that Indigenous knowledge provides critical strategies and technologies for adaptation because Indigenous peoples and local communities have been living in harsh and variable environments for thousands of years. So they already have the knowledge of how to cope and adapt in those environments. And it's really important to make sure that adaptation strategies uh, find out about that knowledge first before they start bringing in uh, modern technologies which are really designed for stable environments rather than harsh and, and variable environments. So the other thing our session highlighted was the critical importance of cultural values for ensuring this traditional knowledge, indigenous knowledge, is shared uh, between generations from elders to youth and also uh, you know, within generations between villages so that useful technologies are actively shared um, amongst uh, vulnerable communities. And also cultural values have, uh, very often have strong conservation ethics so that they ensure that crop diversity is sustained, that ecosystems are, are conserved, which are very important for reducing risk to climate change impacts. Um, and lastly, cultural values also ensure uh, solidarity amongst communities, that the, the needs of the most vulnerable groups, the poorest, the widows, the orphans, and so on, that they are supported, that there's a collective spirit, a, a, a social cohesion, and together they're much stronger in facing adaptation challenges. So in conclusion, what we feel from our session is that actually a really good framework for measuring adaptation is the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, because those rights are basically about rights to land, rights to indigenous knowledge, rights to culture, rights to seeds. And if indigenous peoples and local communities have those rights secure, then their adaptation processes can continue.